Hi everyone, I'm Marrier, and today we're going to be checking out Grimjack and the Schmuck Squad's Demon Slayer Abridged Episode 2. This time around, we get into the big villain, unless he's not actually the big villain, in which case I am very behind on uh, everything Demon Slayer. Entirely possible. I still think he is. I could be very wrong. I don't care. It's going to be fun. I just want to see how they handle someone who's uh, definitely Michael Jackson adjacent. Let's go with that. And honestly, if they don't make a joke about that, I'm going to be very surprised because it's so low-hanging fruit that you'd be disappointed if it wasn't so perfectly fitting to the point where you kind of have to. I'm sticking to that one. If you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. Are you done? Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and if you can, subscribe if you like the video. Let's get started. I knew I wasn't crazy! I knew I didn't kill those kids! What? <laughs> oh, is that who- Oh, yeah. Now that you're back from final selection, I need to speak to you man to man. That's why I've waited until 3 a.m., the witcher's hour, and locked your sister behind that sliding wood door. <laughs> Let me out of here so I can teach you a lesson, old yeah. man. If you have the guts. He shouldn't. I slept for two years. I'm more wired than mom after her happy smoke. Uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> more wired than mama through her. Oh, yeah, because Japan during this time period and the uh, thing I'm not going to mention on YouTube because I don't like it. Oh, yeah. Plot appropriate and time period appropriate humor. Rokodaki, but I think I'd just like uh, to take my sister and go because... As fast as possible. Honestly, I felt safer on the mountain. You know, the one filled with demons. You Should remember be. the demons. They remembered you by name. One said it was your best friend. That's fine. You could be a quitter. But if you leave now, you'll never get a really cool sword. You can't just bribe me with weaponry. The abridged Tanjiro has more principles than I do because I would be very bribed by a cool sword. I hate this. I Plus, you'll never know what it means to be a demon slayer. I know it's a sunk cost fallacy and all, but... Yep. I did train for two years. What's a few more days? <laughs> oh, a lot I more. I knew you'd see it my way. Curiosity killed the kid, after all. You mean cat? No. Please mean cat. He doesn't. Uh, no thanks, I'm allergic. Anyways, my contact, really? Hagen Daz, <laughs> will be here in the morning. Did he say my contact with Hagen Daz? I, I had to have misheard that. I'm allergic. Anyways, my contact, Hagen Daz, will be... Oh, no, his contact was Hagen Daz. If they make a joke about him being over-the-top fake German, I'm gonna love this. Here in the morning. Well, later morning. Like 10 a.m. People say he looks almost exactly like I did when I was his age. So don't be overwhelmed by his dashing good looks. Hanging 10 is a Oh yeah, because he does the entire thing where it's a different person with a mask on. I forgot that joke, yeah. Renowned swordsmith. Wow! I can't wait until exactly 10 a.m. today! 28 days later. Oh, hello there! You must be Hagen Das. Hagenesca. I'm here to report that I lost the package. The sword? Okay, I guess it's a different person. Huh. Sword? But don't you have it on your back? You didn't let me finish. Okay, sorry. Are you going to finish? While I was traveling through the woods, I was set upon by a ravenous demon. I was able to get away safely, but it took not only one of my cherished swords I spent so long crafting, but even the spare I made just in case such a thing happened. The one's on your back? All for nothing, since the crazy bastard chipped them both. Now there's a crazed boar demon running around with two swords. <sighs> Who oh! Who knows what horrors it'll bring upon the land. Huh. They're actually working him into the story early. Was not expecting that. And, oh. Wow, yeah, you that's... see a boar demon, cut it down. That's terrible. Especially if it doesn't like wearing well, a shirt. Since there's no sword, I guess I'll just go back to a quiet life and not become a... Luckily, I crafted a third sword for just such an occasion. No need to thank me. Payment for all three swords will be enough, thanks. I love this one. He's being dragged into it despite himself. And he's just... I, I, I just love the parental breakdown. They chose him at the most incomprehensible moment. They use it, and then just the small edit for the twitching eyebrow. It's such a small edit, but it works perfectly here just to show his mentality breaking down. Oh, God. They said everyone who's a Demon Slayer is insane, and they're literally showing him going insane. I kind of like this, because 
honestly, Canada would make a lot more sense if he actually was absolutely batshit insane, as opposed to insane because he wants to feel people's emotions or stuff. I haven't finished it yet. It kind of got like, he was actually really empathic. It was cool, but at the same time, why isn't he as batshit insane as everyone else yet? Unless it was just a different way to have missed it so far. Or maybe it's a spoiler. I don't know. I need to... Just remind myself, I actually need to finish this show. I need to get around to it. I have no excuse. Listen, sir. I saturated the coal market in my day, so saturated? I respect your hustle. But I've had a significant amount of trauma since then, so I'm going to have to ask. Are you fudge sticky kidding me? Nope. Pay extra? I didn't know I was paying to begin with. Yeah, that's on you, kid. All five of my best customers are dead. And I just had to pay for Rocky's funeral! Do you have any idea how expensive a boulder sized coffin is?! After informing Hanemezka that I had exactly three yen to my name, he screamed for 45 minutes straight, but eventually agreed to waive the fee. This is an Ichirin sword. <laughs> it's made from the sun and kills demons. It's sunny Wait, to demons. Sun. Sunny demons. Sunny D, if you will. Okay, I- All of the pain- Are they actually gonna call them Sunny D? It could be worse. It could be a fruit punch joke. Pain and suffering I've been through will be worth it if I can see this sword turn bright red. I really have a good feeling about this. Red is my favorite color. Okay, that sounds real cool, but like... <laughs> Honestly, I think if one more bad thing happens, I'll just... Snap! But have no fear. I know you won't disappoint me. It's It'll just be all the turn reward around. I like, need to see that. that smile on your face and that shining red blade. Huh, it's black. Oh, it goes with everything now. Tanjiro, my boy, you've done it. That sword is now completely worthless. <laughs> Aw, I wish they said something about how you broke his spirit. Congratulations. No collector would ever buy it now, as the wielder of the Black Blade is cursed to die. Die? <laughs> to be fair, I think all of them eventually will. And they're not in a position where that's going to be a long... Well, anything. Don't make a joke, it's like, hey, everyone dies. It's like, you're fighting demons. You know how it's going to end. There's not many ways. Ow! Oh, when? You name it. A sword wound, a terrible accident, old even age. old age. You'll never be immortal. Unlike me. That's it! I lost my last marble! I'm gonna kill you for ruining my precious sword! The prophecy of the Black Blade has finally come to pass. After surviving my near-death experience, my Kazugai Crow came to give me my first mission. Oh? Feed me, shiny ox! I know what you did there. The only question is, which From Software game are you specifically referencing? Demon Souls? Dark Souls? Dark Souls 2? I don't think Dark Souls 3 had it, but I could be wrong. Or Elden Ring? I'm not even sure they're in Elden Ring, but they probably are because I think they're in most games. Yeah. Also, go to the city! There may be demons there or something! God! They're kind of everywhere! I, which city? Where do I- The demon in the city had something called a blood demon art. And it's not just that the demons are really good at painting or something. Some demons have magic powers. Like, no! Yeah, also, something's up with the audio. Eh, they probably just record in a place where the- Or they're giving reverb when he's doing internal thoughts. Interesting, I don't think many people do that anymore. It's a technique I used to see in a lot of anime, actually, where to differentiate between speaking and thinking, they would do that, or something similar to give a differentiation in the audio tone. I guess they're doing that now. Also, yeah, they literally just summed up perfectly accurately everything about this entire arc. Not bad, actually. But just being a demon wasn't good enough. It's not enough to be evil and Magic strong. Demon. All I have is good smell, a discolored katana, and a disability that makes me see sword fighting as pretty colors. Thankfully, my good sense of smell made the demon superpowers and my immortality irrelevant. Ah, you yeah. stabbed me in the fucking neck! And everywhere else. Ah, you don't understand. All I ever wanted to do was kidnap and eat six... What did that say? Bitch, you late. Oh, because she has a smartwatch in this one. Oh, that's a good edit. He's just looking down the time. He's like, whoop, well... Uh, yeah, sister says, I'm in trouble, I believe. Just kidnap and eat 16-year-old girls and loudly grind my teeth! I'm sorry, I don't have Creepy. time for this. 
Ah, ah, hold on. Ah, I'm running out of time to finish my tragic backstory. Dead. After that, I was on my way to the big city, Asakusa, otherwise known as the Big Ass. They're just having fun leaving that on the table. Just like, hey, the big ass. Ah. We've heard the big apple. This is the big ass on the other side of the world. That actually works. I wasn't expecting something I said to actually work. Wowza! When Aroka Daki said there'd be lots of people, I thought yeah. there were 20. And with my limited math skills, I know this is more than all my fingers and toes combined. I bet Nezuko is freaking out even more than me. Damn it, why'd you wake me up? You know I needed my demonic beauty sleep or else I get real hungry. And you know what I do with fingies when I get real hungry. Was that before or after beating a demon? <laughs> Probably before. Yeah, I need to sleep. Okay, everything here is awful, but maybe we can find a spot that's less awful. Nope. Well, like this alleyway. I'm Nothing sure that's that fine. happens in the alleyway. Hey, you brought your girl too? Nice. This is my sister! Please don't be weird! There's a joke out there somewhere about, huh? No, I don't think he's wrong still. And considering how many shippers I've seen... Yeah... Let's not go there. It's a dark, dirty place. Let's, let's just not do it. <sighs> I wonder if that town's actually there. Oh, they actually put the translation of Udon on it. Huh? What's the deal, kid? What's your major malfunction? Why you got a scarf on your head? Why you got a scar on your head? You know what? Just tell me your star sign. Nope, not just that. Your big three. Can I just get some food, please? Oh, yeah. I sell food. Right. This is a star sign, anyways. At last, I can sign? finally what? sit down to a nice, refreshing meal. Uh, reminds me of blood. That smell. It's the same one I smelled before. You okay down there, cookies? Fostering a dog and you decide right now is the best time to sit right underneath me. I'm trying not to move because I don't know where he's sitting exactly until I check. And it's like, okay, if he moves without me hearing, I will very much accidentally step on him. I don't want to do that because he's tiny and I might actually hurt him. So you just might see me checking every few minutes. Well, my family was killed! Why is it here of all places? Where is it coming from? A person? A demon? Or yes. something worse? A predator. A you! Criminal. Sir! Why do you smell like my dead family? Why, sir? Ugh, disgusting. It's talking to me now. Sorry, <laughs> I don't have any spare change, small vagrant. Daddy, is this poor talking to you? Oh no, Sugihiko! Oh god, this is worse than Michael Jackson. They went British. Oh, it touched your coat! What a waste! We'll have to burn it. M me or the coat? Uh, yes. <laughs> How can this monster just casually live with a normal human family? Honestly, between all three of them, he's the least fucked up so far. Don't they know he can just eat them like cocktail weenies at any moment? Sadly, it seems it may be incapable of communication or higher. Honestly, he fits in with the general British stereotype of upper crust way too well here, including everything Tanjiro just said. Yeah, there, there's, um... Carmilla. I'm just going to leave that one out there. The thought. The education system has failed yet another. The poor thing is mostly just grunting. Tell me, dear, do you see any police around? Afraid not, darling. <laughs> Must be off wasting taxpayer money instead of harassing the poor like they're supposed to. Right. Excuse me, Mr. Guttersnipe. Honestly, I suddenly agree with every demon ever. They're probably right to do what they do. I'm sure your limited faculties have already alerted you to the fact that we are your betters. So please, uh, go back to scrounging for change under a dumpster or whatever it is you occupy yourself with. Owie! Wow! They sure are making mosquitoes big! It is currency frog. Dazed. 
Oh, goodness. Could a little bite hurt that much? Reckle, freckle. What? Oh, that looks painful. I didn't need a demonstration! Oh, those two are getting freaky. Oh, you know the rules. Take it to the alley. Oh, that's an alley. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm going to need you to politely put a sock in it. Everyone, listen. This is no ordinary freak session, as you call it. Are this you man has been turned into a demon. Sounds like me on a Wednesday afternoon. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? These guys know what I'm talking about. Hey, yo. Daddy, the Are we sure this is uh, Japan and not Denmark? You know why I'm asking. Balls are wrestling in the dirty road. That's what the horses do do. It's still pony times, Daddy. Yes, oh, shit, she's right because they are homeless. They do everything in the street. How is it that you're running away? How dare you? You think you're... If he's about to say better than him... Yeah, I think he does. In fact, this version is arguably worse than canon somehow. Oh, God. Some sort of smooth criminal. Why are we leaving, darling? I'll give you that one. You worked it in there really well. It actually fits the context, and you got the Michael Jackson reference in there. Uh, at least you're not going to Moonrake this one. I thought you enjoyed watching the pod tussle. No, no, it's fine. Let's just go now, right now. Get my fist into your dirty Diana till you scream! It'll be the last time you ever see the light of day. You hear me? God damn, Tanjiro. Okay, never mind. You know how I mentioned earlier about uh, how he's really not as fucked up as the others mentally? I take it back. He is right on par. I like it, actually. This is cool. No, no, square alert. We got a category three no, no, square infraction. Oh, oh good. God. The police. Now the situation Are can be peacefully him? resolved. He's resisting. I'm pulling out the squeaky hammer. Ah, stop. It doesn't hurt, what? but it's very annoying. It's working, man. We're killing the mood with excessive force. We woo, motherfucker. We woo. We woo. Please. You have no idea how hard it is not to make an American police joke right now. It's so hard. Unlike that hammer they're using, apparently. They're just doing it wrong. Couldn't resist. If you don't bring me something to restrain this man with, he'll get loose and hurt someone. I don't care what you're into. I think that's about enough. Also, I just want to say right now, this, the editing they did, it actually looks really good Loose on the hammer. Loose hurt someone. I don't care what. See this? It does stand out slightly because the color palette is different than the rest of it. But overall, it looks really good. In fact, I think, I can't even tell if this is something that they created or not. I think this is actually one that they created entirely and they just intraposed it on, or extraposed, outraposed. They put it on top of the actual blurred image of the people. Really well done, actually. It fits quite well with the overall aesthetic and the style. Honestly, the eyes are what threw me off here just because I can't see them, but everyone else at least has visible eyes that are heavily shaded. But this is a different type of shading that's being used over here with the lines instead of just full uh, solid shade. I kind of like that they did this. It's such a great little edit that they have this in here. Nice. What you're into. I think that's about enough. We will. Oh no, I'm highly allergic to pollen. Yeah. I'm a demon. Please come with us. I'll explain everything. Yeah, that's trustworthy. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Okay. The funny part about this is, considering how bad doctors were in this time period, even if she wasn't actually a good character, depending on how they play her, she probably still killed less people than actual doctors in this time period usually did. Yeah. It's, uh... Let's put it this way. If someone had surgery, they would look the other way if they decided to suddenly take a quick trip to the roof. And a very short trip down. It was a thing that happened regularly. Don't look it up because there actually is documentation of it. It's kind of effed up prior to anesthetic being a thing. Yeah. All right, you two, head on home. Daddy has some things to take care of in the alley. Places to go, people to kill. All right, Suki, here you go. But don't you go bringing home any other spouses. 
How do you know about the other spouse? Uh, we'll talk later. Uh, head home for now. Cherish your final moments. Take them away from me. Yay! Oh final God. moments! Yeah, he is as fucked up as I thought he was. And yet somehow they are still more fucked up than him. They managed to outdo the villain with the background characters. Damn. Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> this is what a tornado looks like! <laughs> they really do be like that. <laughs> Whoops, sorry there, man. I'm drunk. Must not see where I was going. I'm so sloshed I can barely feel my fingers. Dead. Oh no! He's the dead! Hey, as his older brother, Wait, they're he brothers? totally deserved that. I take <laughs> full responsibility for this, and I want to sincerely apologize for... Dead? You know... I was having such a good day today. I took Family 1 out for a nice meal. Showed Family 2 the gold star I got on my grade school paper. Wait, Wait how many families do you have? And I was finally able to eat Family 3 after they finished being useful. But all of that turned At least into two. shit. The moment I met that kid with those earrings. And to say Wait, I wouldn't earrings? see the light of day again? Who does that soot-covered brat think he's talking to? <laughs> oh, they've done something that I don't think even the original one in canon did. They showed Tanjiro actually getting under his skin. Huh. Also, I love how they're just editing the eyes to shake more. I definitely know that wasn't in there. You can see how it's moving around. It's such a quick little edit. They just cut it around, put it in the paste of the eye coloration behind it, and then just moved it around in the area. It's a small one, but it works really well. I like that. Me too! I'm Muzan Kibutsuji. My name alone brings fear to even my own demon kin. Yep. Hey, just a little bit of my blood that can face? make any person to come close. Ah, oh, I forgot about this part. Perfection. Oh, God, the pain! I feel my flesh melting! Oh, yeah, that was a turn. Oh. I may have gone a bit overboard on that one. <laughs> Unless, is your blood demon art being a puddle? Yeah, okay, you're dead. <laughs> Okay, you guys showed up too fast. Were you stalking me? Yes. Yes, Lord Muzon. <laughs> I like the part where you kicked that guy. <laughs> Did he ever come if down? If you value your lives, then you saw nothing. My eyes are in my hands, Lord Muzon. I saw nothing. I saw everything. <laughs> but I'm great at lying. Cool. Anyway, you, bring me that child's lie. head. Tonight. The one with the Hanafuda-like earrings. With or without his body, sir? Every second you sit here asking me questions is a second in which you disappoint me. The clock is ticking. Do shit! Book it! Ooh. Sorry, that is literally one of the best lines I could put right there. Because when he wants to be scary, just like the big wide open eyes staring at you without blinking is an intimidating picture. But when he just says, every second you're here without... You're talking. It's a second you're disappointing me. Right after you killed the people for just talking to him. It, it, they got the intimidation factor down pat on this one. Especially since he's being played almost as a joke. Even during the murder scene, he's played as a joke. It's funny. And then suddenly, no, I'm actually going to be terrifying for a second here. It works. Wow. Really well to just switch up the tone. Get. I will not have a repeat of last time. Last time? The only time I've ever been defeated. Fuck you, Yorichi. You suck. Suck demon schlong, you fuck man. He doesn't even know his name. Ooh. Why are they going to go through the entire arc here? You have a lovely home. Sure, if you like dog houses. I think this dump is where mom bought her happy smoke. All right, listen up, fucko. Just because you, know, you got an invite sense, here actually, from did. Lady Tamayo doesn't mean you get to do as you please. Kinda You're does. on thin ice in this house, both you and your homely sister. No way this simp just called me homely. If you live in a crack house, you shouldn't throw stones, you twink nose for Oh, now, God. Let me lay some... Have I ever mentioned how much I love having access to Nezuko's internal monologue? It literally makes this so much better. Ground rules about my lady. AKA the seven deadly don'ts. Don't touch her. Don't look at her. Don't draw her. Don't take her out for picnics. Don't write love poems about her. Don't dream about your future together. And if you build a shrine in her honor, don't you dare tell her about it. You know what? 
If you even so much as dare to smell her! Oh, well, that's what I do best. I will break every bone in your dumpy body! I will end your pathetic, miserable life! And thanks to my masterful illusions, no one will ever find your corpse. You got it! Also, could you back up a bit? Alright, I brought the two colorful vagabonds you so- Please, tell me he did immediately just writes it on the spot love poem to piss this guy off. Wisely requested with your beautiful voice from your beautiful mouth. Oh my god, he's even thirstier hey. than Canon. Yushiro, calm down. Uh, I'm sorry. Welcome, both of you. I hope Yushiro has not been awful to you. He has, but I don't mind. Has he at least explained why you're here? He mostly threatened me, actually. <sighs> Yushiro. You've let me down again. Have you considered that he smells and is stupid and I hate him? Yushiro? Uh, I'm sorry again, my lady. As you should be. I am both a demon and a doctor. Uh -huh. I was once under the control of a powerful demon named Muzan Kibutsuji. But after- Lady Tamayo began a long-winded expository speech about her past. Thousands of spiked horseshoes- And through her explanation- Spiked horseshoes? Those would be like snowshoes for horses? I hate that I'm actually considering this. I learned everything she knew about demon kind. Incendiary hand grenades hadn't been invented at the time, of course, but I may do with- I learned about Muzan Kibutsuji. I kind of want to go back to this. of all demons. This is, of course, where the flying octopi came into play. And I also learned there was hope yet for my sister. Right. If anyone from the Schmuck Squad has an actual idea of what they were just dropping in here as random big lift alligator moments, I would love to find out because this actually sounds brilliantly, terrifyingly stupid, and I love every second of it. Ravaging every inch of my... I'm sorry, I, I got sidetracked. Um, <laughs> give me a bunch of strong demon blood and I can probably cure your sister. Assuming she keeps sleeping around and not eating any flesh, of course. I'm not a fan of the way you said that last part, lady! Real judgmental from a person who looks like they applied their makeup with a pancake. So this yeah. guy I was squaring up against was the head demon? Well, if he's still here, we should team up oh, and you beat the stuff out of him or something. Right? Oh no. Muzan is a spineless coward. If he sensed any hint of resistance from this town, he'd flee like the craven lowlife he is. Well, then I'll just beat him up the next time I see him. Dead. Lady Tamiyo said Muzan was a coward. Not that he wouldn't fold you like a goddamn paper swan! Yeah. Hapless and great! Yushi? Oh shit, she's serious when she pulls that name out! Tanjiro, your life is valueless! Protect me with it! It's worth adding that you Yushiro is doing, also Cannon. a demon I created a few centuries after parting ways with Muzan. So that means other demons could end up making their own line of demons? Mmm, the rules are unclear. But if you're sick as fuck like Lady Tamayo, then anything is possible. Yeah? I approve. Yes. I'm killing it. So all I have to do is collect high-level demon blood and bring it back to- Oh, I forgot about the little Nessie. Sorry, I just- I for, thought for some reason they would cut this out, or is this- a, I don't even remember this from canon. Is this something that happened? It's adorable. Bring it back to you, and you'll cure my sister? Oh, good. You understand. The last demon slayer I recruited went a little crazy. Started wearing a cloud-themed tunic and selling crystals and essential oils. <laughs> Actually- I heard he recently lost his best friend. Poor thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll send as many blood samples as I can, ma'am. <laughs> it feels he wants to do anything to differentiate himself from that guy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Are you just, like, looking for them? I would be done if some fucko demon art didn't create all these weird illusions to mask their footsteps. Damn it, this is gonna take all night. <laughs> oh, fuck. Didn't Lord Muzan give us, like, a time limit? No, I assume he meant that as an idiom or something. Of no. <laughs> well, it's almost morning. We should probably... Oh, shit! Holy shit! I've got a... Oh, a small earthquake. It... <laughs> well, that's one way to end the fight. I... <laughs> Yeah, apparently he gave them a time limit. It was, you're too late. Yeah, I was expecting a lot of things, but completely getting around the fight in canon to just go full on, yeah, that non sequitur is completely gone, and we're just moving on with the plot. Because he was pissed enough to just pop them because they took too long. Which actually in canon doesn't really fit because he was valuing his subordinates more in the sense that they could do things for him, and they may or may not succeed. Here it's, I am actually pissed. 
you will do this. You took too long. It's way more intimidating this way, but it's also like funny. It's like, oh shit, moment. And of course, the girl who lied and didn't actually lie about it is the one who pops first. Is there something else you had to say nope. or? No, it's just that usually things aren't this easy. It's a nice change of pace. <laughs> Don't get used to it. Leave. Leave. Thank you both so much for everything. Leave. We'll get going. Leave. He leave. 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 And that was episode two of Demon Slayer Bridge by the Schmuck Squad and Grimjack. I like this. I especially just really love that ending because it's very much different. They're keeping the exact same plot going forward, but... They're even lambshading by saying, wow, this is surprisingly easy. Usually nothing goes this easy. And because they did that, it kind of makes it better, in my opinion, because it's not just giving them a joke. It's giving them a reason to just get in there and get out without having that big emotional fight about how they found him. And now that the person they're chasing got away and all that other crazy stuff that lasted a bunch of episodes. Honestly, the fight was cool, but they wouldn't really get much of bridging out of that. It would just be a cool fight scene that they just have to redo unless they changed a bunch of things. For example, goes the enemy. Because they took too long. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's actually... I, I love this because it does really amp up Muzu Chuchi... Muzu... Muzu up. Michael Jackson knockoff's entire shtick in this abridge because he's honestly, I think, more terrifying here than he was in canon. Again, that could also just be because I haven't finished canon yet. I don't know. But I kind of want to get back in even more now because this was just really well done. So if you haven't, there's a link below to the original video by the Schmuck Squad and Grimjack. It's on Grimjack's channel. Hit it up. And we're done. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if there's anything else you want me to do, check it out. Because I do occasionally listen to my entire comment section. I don't always respond because usually I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm scared about people. I don't know how to respond. Yeah, I know. I'm actually a massive shut-in normally. Good thought. On the other hand, YouTube, it helps. Joking aside, though, I'm about to finish a bunch of series that I've been running for a while. Just really cool things I've been checking out, and I'm looking for a bunch of replacements. So if anyone has anything they want to see done, let me know. I got a poll on my channel right now that's going to be coming up soon, and by the time this comes out, I may or may not have an idea what it is, or it might still be running. I don't know. But yeah, if there's anything you want to see, leave it in the comment below. I'll see if I can check it out. And when the next episode of this comes out, let me know, because sometimes I miss things. Because I'm about as observant as a rock. Specifically a rock that somebody actually grafted eyes to, but they were blind, and it's like, okay, this was useless, why'd you do that? I'm about that observant. Yeah. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again, I'll see you then. Adios.